everyone. Professor Hartman here again. We're going to continue on with biodiversity. I want to make sure you understand how important it is. Let's all picture a field of corn. Hundreds of acres of corn planted here in South Florida out in the Bell Glade area. That's called monoculture. Not very diverse. Corn. Nothing else. Needless to say, if a infestation of insects were to um, start eating the corn, this would have a rapid decline in the corn growth and the corn output. So one of the problems we see in um, lack of diversity is that when you have one type of, of an organism, it can be attacked and basically devastated. The whole population can be devastated. Whereas if we had a diverse population, say we had a field of corn, a field of wheat, a field of, um, I don't know, tomatoes, a field of celery, uh, you know, all sorts of crops planted on those hundreds of acres, we might have an infestation of the um, corn-loving insects but our tomatoes would be fine and our wheat would be fine and you know everything else you know would be fine we hope but you know if we lack diversity a whole population could be wiped out just by one infection or one infestation of a of a um, predator or something like that. So the more diverse an, an area or a, a habitat or a, a population is, the better off it is. Let's think about um, epidemics and the, di the diversity between um, you and me, diversity between people. If we have the flu virus strike a population that hasn't built up immunities to flu viruses, then that group of people will terribly suffer. Whereas we here in America have a constant... Um, yearly battle with the flu virus and most people get the flu or get the flu vaccine and don't have any problem really with the flu we get sick yeah but we recover so diversity among people diversity among the uh, habitats, the organisms that live in those habitats, the more diverse the system is, the better off it is. So, y'all have a good day. We'll see you next time.